and we are back here at Bain's Korea. You know, Yanwa, I want to do an experiment today. Do you want to do an experiment? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Okay. Do you want to do it together? Yeah, of course. Okay. Hmm. I think I want to study the heart today. Oh. Do you have a heart? Yes, I have a heart. Yeah. I have a heart too. You all have hearts. But Yonwa, did you know that your heart uses electrical impulses to function? Oh, really? I, do I have it? Yeah, we're going to see if, you, huh? if, if your heart works normally. Mm -hmm. So your, your brain, which is here, mm -hmm. your heart, which is here, and then your muscles, which are all over your body, all use electrical impulses to function. Oh. But these electrical impulses are very, 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 very small. Oh. Yeah, so you studied physics, right? Yeah. Yeah, so what we need to do is we need to amplify the signal. Amplify means make bigger. So we have an amplifier we've in invented here mm -hmm. that should allow us to see the electrical impulses of your heart on this device. Oh. So is it okay? Can I do an experiment? Yeah. I'm okay. So all I need is ready. your exposed wrists. Um, but we're in Korea, right? Mm -hmm. So you speak a different language in Korea, right? Yeah, I can speak Korean. Okay, so how do you say heart in Korean? 심장. 심장. Was that good? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, a long way to go. Uh. Long way to go. But I speak the language of hearts, and we are going to try to see the language of hearts here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just need your your wrists. 심장. 심장. Okay. 심장. Okay, so just uh, all right. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm pretty nervous. Yeah, because what if we find out um, your heart doesn't work? Because then it'd be kind of weird, like, how are you alive? Yeah. It'd be a really big discovery. Maybe you're a robot. No, I'm not. Right. Okay. So we are sticking the cables on. Huh? All right, I'm going to turn it on. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, just rest your, uh, okay? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, okay, it okay. works. Okay. <laughs> you, you have a heart. You are a human being, so. Okay, <laughs> so now we're just going to set the filters. Okay. So I need you to relax your hands on the table because your muscles are contracting and messing with the signal. Huh? Okay. So we can see these impulses right here. This is probably what you've seen on uh, TV when someone's in the hospital really sick. You know, when someone is in the hospital here, beep, 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 beep. That's called an electrocardiogram. Electrocardiogram. Okay, so now we're going to see, uh, take a look at some of the cluster components. Okay, so Yunhua, you said you're nervous, right? Yeah, I'm nervous. I can tell you're nervous without even asking you. Oh, Do you okay. know why? I don't know. How can you Because your heart rate is 100 beats per minute. Um, you're a healthy young person. Your heart rate should only be about 60 to 70 beats per minute. Mm. But when you're nervous, excited, or exercising, your heart rate can go up to even 180 beats per minute. So Yun was a little nervous, but she's not panicky nervous. So thank you. Mm. Okay, so we can see all these little, beautiful little components right here, okay? So we can see a T wa P wave here. P wave? Do you know what a P wave is? No, I don't know what is P wave. Hmm. How many chambers does your heart have? Mm, four. Very good. Very good education. So there are four chambers, two atria and two ventricles. So this P wave is the contraction of the atria. And you see this spike right here, Yanwa? Mm? That's called the QRS wave. And that's the contraction of your ventricles. Um. And then we have a wave here, which is a T wave, which is the preparation for the next contraction. Does this sound kind of boring? No, it's really interesting. Hmm. Mm. It seems like it's just names, but what does it all have to do with anything? Mm. Mm. It's that nurses and doctors can actually look at the timing and the shape of all these components to actually diagnose heart diseases. So normally you only get to see this when you are sick and in the hospital, but we can actually just do a simple experiment here. All right, so what I want you to do is you're currently at 106 uh, beats per minute. And we want to see if we can make you uh, your heart rate go down. Hold on a sec. Okay. You're at 100. So when you're swimming underwater, your heartbeat goes down mm -hmm. to conserve energy. All right. So okay. I want you to hold your breath. It's not working. Okay. So I think because Yunwa is nervous, her nervousness is overriding the diving response in her heart. So that's kind of interesting. You could do that experiment at home or in your own school as well. So we saw your heart today. Yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. You're not a robot. I'm not a robot. She's not a robot. So thank you so much, Melty friends. Melty friends, bye. Bye bye.